very count. bad. We're judging you all, and mm-hmm. you're gonna judge us. And we have no right to judge each other. What, 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 what should we know about them first? Well, they all look gay. <laughs> <laughs> and he he knows he knows. That's yeah. better. Yeah. yeah. It's weird that I like if you if, like no one on the podcast could like see, but like I look straight, but I'm like the gayest person in this room. You compared to all the gay people, crazy. I do look straight. I don't. Everyone do here looks like they suck dick, but I I beat them by. Not him. Look what he's wearing. Who? He's, he's straight, like, straightest guy here. Straight as shit. Yeah, that guy's pretty cool. He's dressed like a Hot Wheel. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. He can't even sit in that chair. Shit. Someone had so, somebody had too many dinner dining and drives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Okay, what are we doing? Well, you got to give him a minute to populate, you know? Okay, okay. Cool. Is Is it, it if I start guys? talking now, it's, you know, we're letting there's people 10 people are going to see it. Okay, how many, how many people are in here right now? 10. Oh, okay, cool. Let's fucking go. What's up, Dunbar? <laughs> Young Schwoogie. Somebody said, let's fucking go. Did Drew grow his hair and weight? Okay. Friends and enemy, hell yeah. Yeah, trainer. It's a hell of a way to start a conversation. Who are these people? It's so weird and sad. What 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 time is it right now? I don't know. <laughs> it's like nine. 904. You're at home on Twitch at nine oh four on a Monday. Yeah, you're not doing good in life. Somebody say Monday Monday, Monday at nine is a regular time to be home. You're at home alone. Uh huh. <laughs> 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 somebody somebody says sup uglies. Okay. You're weirder and sadder at six p.m. All right. Yeah, dude, we're we're it's by 6 coast. It's six p.m. It's international. How many people in here to cook? You can cook. What's your go-to dish? Obviously. Nah, the new chefs are skinny, bro. When he says rice and beans, I don't think. Hispanic. Well, that's your go-to like dish is rice and, rice and beans. Rice and beans, yeah. No, no meat at all. Like yeah, like on the side, like I'll make like a pork chop or something. <laughs> 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 I'm a, <laughs> he's, yeah, he's like, oh yeah. yeah but I get that though. Like, honestly, I, you always have that one dish that's like, yeah. You got the macho man, macho Randy You sound like Ernest from the nineties. <laughs> that's what's bothering. Yeah, I love he it. He has a good voice though, but his yeah. voice fits his look though. Ernest it's like if Ernest does the dork part. <laughs> <Ernest>. <laughs> nice little vlog. Mhm. No, we know how to make rice, nigga. You know how to make rice. <laughs> what's your go-to dish? Red sauce? Yeah, like That's it? Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. All right. What you mean, like Taco Bell red sauce? No, no, no. Like a so you can cook. You can cook. Yeah. Okay. How many bitches have you cooked for? Two. Really? <laughs> have they stayed after you cooked for them? Yeah. Okay, you can cook. The rest leave. They're like, he's going to cook me. Yeah, uh, she's like, why is he? What? <laughs> he said that with so much like. <laughs> He's happy right now. Uh, yeah. He wait, bro. He, Whoa. Fucking like this. <laughs> this is insane. Can you cook? Yeah, pretty well. I'm I'm getting better at steaks really? lately. This, steak yeah, guy? it's been a big thing for me lately. So, you, when, you, so when you get money and go out to eat, you go to a steakhouse. Uh, I went to two steakhouses this weekend. Really? How was it? Uh, the second one was very good. First one wasn't good. The first one was kind of crap. Damn. Well, I'm glad you gave it a second chance after the first one. Well, I needed to cleanse the palate. Yeah. yeah, I like steak. What's your go-to when you get when you go to a steakhouse? Uh, ribeye, if it's not rib like eye? significantly more expensive than the New York. You a ribeye guy? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I like a ribeye. I realize this when I don't drink. Well, I'm like I'm not drinking, so I just eat. I I spend like seventy dollars. Yeah, do something. Day on food. Yeah. yeah, you gotta do something. It's can, just a, a lot. It's What's a your lot go-to food. shit? Tacos? Well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> a Mexican that can make tacos. Cloud, you can cook? Yeah. What's your go-to shit? Chicken. Well, well, well. <laughs> a black person that can make chicken. What's your shit? Tacos. No, it's not. <laughs> really? Is it? Uh, cereal? <laughs> <laughs> Mountain Dew. He's really <laughs> proud of it, though. He's like, I make really good tacos. He's like, I couldn't wait to tell the class. Yeah, that shit. We're gonna call your. I don't like the way you say it with that voice. <laughs> it's what Taylor sells to die for. <laughs> like we're about to die, huh? Okay. Really, tacos? Like, what's you like? How you make your tacos? I like uh, I like make my own tortillas, and I just do like some like beef or chicken or something. Do you believe him? 
I believed him when he said he made his own tortillas because I'm like, wow. <laughs> the way he said beef is like his first yeah. time eating tacos. Yeah, I, I, I don't make my own tortillas, but like I fry them on the pan. I All right. <laughs> Caught our first lie. <laughs> right. Caught the first <laughs> lie. Oh, Couldn't wait. I'll put them on the pan. Right, right. Yeah, I make my own tortillas. <laughs> oh, are, actually. They're yeah. already made, but I'm making them I more. I heat like, them up on, for bro. myself. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Can you cook? What's your go-to <laughs> shit? Like two pieces of toast and two eggs. I believe that. Yeah, that's I a serial killer that. right there for sure. I believe that. Some fucking hash browns and shit. I believe that. Oh, that takes time. Man. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, you could. I how mean, many, I, how often do you eat eggs? Eggs? Yeah. Three times a week. I don't. Protein, man. How often do you eat that. eggs? He's yeah. in good shape, though. So it might. Oh, I have a theory that people who eat a lot of eggs have fucked up teeth. Hmm. And I think his you and yours. Teeth. No, you got good teeth. You know, you're supposed to take the shells off. Yeah. yeah. Guys, <laughs> welcome to Door Court. I think there's enough people here cook? by now. Can this is getting cook? incredibly boring, I think. Can you cook? Uh, you cook? Guys, I appreciate you being here. Can you cook? Episode 22, okay. uh, season 2, episode 8, mm-hmm. uh, with our, our good, esteemed, uh, and very important uh, diversity. Equality and inclusion hey, you're black, bro. Come on. Uh, lineup today. My my <laughs> good friends and you, you guys didn't give me anything to plug, so I'll just Lawrence Reese yeah. and Nick Crespo. Guys, give it up Woo! for them. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking pack house you got here tonight. Whoa. Pack house you got here tonight. Yeah, if you're in do, upstate New we York, do. we're doing shows on yes, 420. Yes, that's it. 419 like and 420. Yeah. Also, we need a, a pitcher for our softball league. Uh, True. I'm not, I'm not in this. I'm not in this. It's really. We have a softball league. If you're in you the New York City league. area and you want to play for one tournament one day long, and you're good at pitching for softball, and it, I mean, literally anybody on earth could be better than what you did last year. I thought I was gonna do a really good thing. Of you're like, Spanish, bro. I didn't know I had to underhand it because I'm good at overhand. <laughs> what I you don't believe you. Was? A bigger ball. That, and you have to thought, underhand it. I, All I, the bitches in college. I like confuse this. stickball with softball, which was my issue. It's very Spanish of you. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I still don't think you're good at stickball. Yeah, I fucked up. Are you good at handball? I'm not good with the body. <laughs> okay. All right. If that's, I gotta move fair... it, I'm kind of fucked. Yeah, so that's what I. I we. I think balls. we all learned that yeah, very quickly, and then it became like, uh, like a, a preschool dance, where it's like, well, you have to let Who's him keep trying. <laughs> Who's in your league? Uh, as Renee set it up, and okay. it was, you know, yeah. a lot of bros Clyde. <laughs> See? Oh, no. See, that's what I want to wear. That's with the tunic. That's what I was talking about. That's what I want to bring but back. Don't make fun of them, though, because that's real nigga shit right there. That's, that's what I want to bring right. back. Right. Fresh, yeah. from, fresh from church. I feel that. I love he's perfectly in frame, so everyone knows. He is, though. You can see his whole fit Yeah, right you now. are. Come a little closer right here. Come this way. You're going to... We need this fit on camera. This is fire. Yeah, thank you. That nigga need a fucking. Uh, is that not that the shit? same chair? He need like a king seat. Broken, what's that shit called? Oh, no. A throne. He needs a throne with it that. It wasn't shit. broken when you sat on it. Oh, Mac- Michael Blackson over here. Come on now. <laughs> nah, now you're right in frame. Oh, you got to sit right there. Oh. Okay. Well, how much African shit did you do today? <laughs> Where you need this fit on? <laughs> like, how many, how many animals you killed today, nigga? <laughs> My name is actually Toby. Okay. So you can address him well. All right. Don't I, sit, I wait, don't sit on the cord. Can you move it off the cord? Stop telling this man what to do. He's a I, I need him to not break. You should all be my happy he's, he's in your presence right Tolu. now. Getting close. Your name's Tolu? Tolu or Duduwa. <laughs> Are you surprised? That's an African name. That's exactly. Yeah, I'm not even gonna fucking try saying. And it. his hair is fresh too. Like you can't really <laughs> fuck with him. Oh, you kinda can't fuck with him right now. And he's the youngest one in this room. He's, he's probably like 14. Too. Yeah, I, 14, <laughs> seven foot two, might get drafted to Syracuse. He's like constantly like, being fucking by sponsors. Low key, like, hey. got a white wife. Like, come on now. You know, uh oh, yeah. what's the thing? You can repeat that again. Though? Yeah, you got a white wife. Yeah. You do. Can you say it, like, one, say it one more time. Maybe? You have a white wife. Yeah. Okay. He said it three times. Like maybe it'll come true. No, he said it three times. Like she's gonna disappear. Like the fuck. And then look at his fit. Yeah. What's up with you? Where's your fit at, you deli worker? Come on now. I just got off. Oh, yeah, okay. So did he. Like, the fuck? Yeah, you should have came in first, because you totally... Because <laughs> now you're like, yeah. you should leave. The you know what I mean? Like, I'm just kidding. It's, it's, like, it's like following it's Chappelle. Open. Like, it's open. Oh, yeah. I was open when I got yeah. What inspired your fit? White 
Okay, that, that checks out. What about your fit? This is uh, my uniform to work. Really? Where do you work at with this is your uniform? Do you believe anything he says? That's weird, no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's just saying shit that he I wants to. I want to, but it's, <laughs> it's like only because he wants me. <laughs> like you feel like it's you're, not because it's the truth. You feel like you're a bad person if you don't believe him. Yeah, yeah but yeah, that's yeah. what he wants. Yeah, he does. Yeah, I, I know your type. Have you ever been to a sex party, sir? No. no. That's the one thing I, I believe. I don't believe him. Really? I think he's the guy at the sex party offering drinks. Oh, I think he's drinks. that guy. I think he's that guy. Have you ever fucked a girl in a car, sir? In a car? Yeah. What have you done? <laughs> have you fucked a guy in a car? No, no guys in a car. Let me see what the Twitch say. <laughs> you ever eat a chicken sandwich in the car? I've eaten a chicken sandwich. All right, well, fucking say something, though. Can, can <laughs> <laughs> he said he makes tacos, bro. Come on now. All right, guys, so for anyone that's new here, Dark Horror, what we do is you guys come up for five minutes, you do your jokes. Uh, it's live stream. They're going to be talking shit about you the whole time. We're going to be talking shit about you the whole time. We're going to take down our favorite comments read them back to you uh -huh. and then yeah you can say whatever you want about people also but i like what i like to do is pretend that someone said something and be like oh this person said that you i saw your really little you. dick yeah, yeah okay yeah. real shit what's your dog's name Thanks. zeke how old is it uh six God, old as fuck zeke yeah is great zeke is great zeke he's a little zeke? farm dog ezekiel his real name is zeke olu da <laughs> Dashiki. His name is actually uh, yeah, yeah. Jesus Ezekiel Jesus. Really? Yeah. That's insane. On his birth certificate. Why you guys always name their dogs some bullshit, bro? It's an Aqua Teen reference. Yeah. E -E. Um, his voice, he can say anything. Yeah, it's great. Dude. Guys, we have a Patreon that you can subscribe to. Patreon.com slash Dark Heart. We did uh, another like 45 minutes of this. So if you're interested in more of <laughs> what these guys are offering... At least, hopefully, this time it isn't muted. I had, I did. <laughs> this, is, this is worse than crowd work. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> Call us Kill Tony, nigga. Come on now. Number one in the hood, G. What the fuck that guy doing anything? Miguel, best joke of the night. It's from uh, Awkward Teen, also. You oh, didn't no. watch Awkward Teen? Not like that, no. Mm, I was too busy being an awkward teen. <sighs> That's gay. <laughs> The, if you have it's a DVD a player, nigga. I can. Yeah, it stinks, dude. It, I, I have it. I got like most of the seasons of Aqua Teen on DVD. Oh shit, you do. And I'm yeah. the nerd one. Okay. Right. And you got Squidbillies. I got some good stuff back there. I got some Venture Bros. You still have like a DVD player where you play all this shit? No, I actually, I, I honestly don't. It you guys just want to watch right. Venture Bros? <laughs> it's a, it's a different design. All right, uh, we should probably <laughs> get started because uh, it's already kind of late, to be honest. Um, mm -hmm. So, Your yeah, you go up, you people. go up, you get made fun of. No one's going to offer you any sort of, like, constructive critique or anything. They're just going to call you fucking fat and gay. And, you know, it, they're going to be, they've already started, but they're going to continue to be racist. I've asked the chat, I've said, you know, you're allowed to be racist. I can't, you can't stop them. But please, you know, misspell all your slurs. You know, don't get me flagged. Mm -hmm. Spell, if you're going to say the word... You got to do it letter by letter, right? The, the classic way. The That's the rules. Um, it's A, not E-R. Come on now. You are allowed to say it with an A on Twitch. You're allowed to. They don't, you do they don't know, censor it. You do know with this film, you have to kill, right? You can't bomb that fit. You got to burn that fit. Yeah. You got to burn that fit after that, bro. Because now you just ruined your whole family dynasty after that. Like, come on. Yeah, your, father, your father's watching you right now. He's outside in that yellow cab, and he's waiting for you to kill. And then if you bomb, he's like, you're banished from the house. Like, how can I get here? <laughs> Find a way. Find a way, nigga. That you, you brought that fit to this house. You knew what was going to happen. There's a fit saying, please, yes. don't take me seriously. Oh, no not, that's not what that fit is saying. That fit is saying, you love chicken. And you are African as fuck. How, what, are you Nigerian? Yeah. Oh, boy. I can't believe you guessed that. What else would he be? I don't know. Liberian? Liberians don't dress like that. I Just another Irian? No, Nigerians is like the first go-to African can't, to think of. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like Nigerian and you know, other shit. We're the Jews of Africa. All right, I'll take it. 
Aren't all you guys the Jews of Africa? Oh, all right. I watched. I what watched about Kyrie, Ethiopian? I watched Kyrie Irving's no, documentary, what, and I'm pretty sure that <laughs> that was the random retard answer. Was they aren't you all? <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna go up first because Drew's not here right now, but Drew will come up later, um, and then I'm gonna switch out with him. But in the meantime, Drew will show you guys the light for your time, so we'll go based off him. Um, I, d- I didn't make a lineup, so I would appreciate if you guys would volunteer one by one after this. Republic of Congo. Um, all right. He said the dude is a whack of conda. <laughs> hey, hey. Woo, get up for him. Get up, yeah, clap it up for you. I had to, I had to mute you guys because I didn't trust you to not talk shit while I was doing the thing. You, it's, you talk shit after. All right. Um, being trans is kind of like having fibromyalgia. What do you guys think of that? Because it's like, you know, scientifically, medically, it's, you know, a myth. But doctors are just like, yeah, I guess if it makes you shut the fuck up. You got it. Here's a disease for you. That um, You can't tell your therapist that you're suicidal or they'll think you're trans. These are good tweets that I wrote. I was like, that's too good for Twitter. Let me wait for door court. Uh, car guys love positive heterosexual male attention. <laughs> you guys notice that? <laughs> they love for like a dude in a parking lot to be like, nice. <laughs> um, uh, a lot of my friends have been brainwashed by women into becoming sober recently. It's like I'm happy for all my friends for getting pussy, but like you don't owe it to girls for your dick to work. You know, stand up for yourself, brother. <laughs> it's probably her fault that you're not getting hard. Um, hmm. These days, it seems like you have to be child molested to get famous, <laughs> right? That stinks. Like we're doing a thing that's like inherently we want fame for success right it's the only way that it works out is that if we have to kind of pursue fame and you know a couple of you guys probably have a chance still but I, it's too late for me i think i got fucked as a kid yet and it's now it's too late i can't i can't go back so it's like you know if i want you know my son to make it i gotta get him started early <laughs> and be like a dad raising his kid to be great at football and then taking him into the shower after. <laughs> nice, thanks. Uh, I I have a bad relationship with my mom. <laughs> I could never find the clit. <laughs> That's it. Those are all the new ones, guys. Thanks so much, uh, Miguel. I mean. The first shit they cooked you on was like, what's up with your shirt? <laughs> Someone said, nice hat. What Harry Potter house is that? Uh-huh. They said, we're degenerating your apartment right now. Let me see what else they said. They said, ha, 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 Pike. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> this is make me want to Ralph. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they didn't even spell that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. The terrorists and the rear terrorists are busy watching interracial porn. They just saying shit, bro. Wow, so I'm the terrorist and you're the rioter. Okay. And we are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I figured that one out. Uh huh. What's up with this dude's pants? He has no dick print. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, bro, they call you small dick, bro. <laughs> oh, I like this one. Niggers come in every color. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's, he's, he's Spanish. He can say it. Uh-huh. Uh, to read next. It's crazy, too, because it said naggers. <laughs> Uh, we should call this one Dark uh, guys, Court. Guys, <laughs> uh, great show. You can Long find out. You can find out what race Crespo actually is on the Patreon. <laughs> yeah, it's revealed they behind a paywall. We uh, Crespo revealed what race he actually is. 
I'm ambiguous enough that I'll be whatever you want me to be, but if you want to know the truth. All right. Homosexual. Yeah, all right. Sorry. <laughs> you sound like he was talking to his daddy. <laughs> Dad, this is who I am. Mm hmm. Crespo is a wild Samoan. <laughs> I think he said you were to the rock. That's crazy. Who's up next? He's done. Right. Maybe next time get guys who can read. Well, fuck you. We're sorry. <laughs> you type like you're retarded, bro. What the fuck? Uh, guys, Miguel Silva. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Welcome back. <laughs> what a faggot. Uh, guys, uh, yeah. next up. Does anyone want to go next? Dealer's choice. Guys, next up. My good bro, Jonah Quest. Woo! Make yeah. some noise. Oh, yeah. Uh, we were talking about getting drunk earlier. I think the best part about getting drunk is the hangover, because that's when you think the least. When you get drunk, it's like you got to make decisions and shit. But when you're hungover, you're just like, oh, fucking life is stupid, you know? And then you remember that you're stupid. And I think that's pretty nice. Uh, I like that Tim came out in Lakers colors. That's pretty fucking, <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. Laker Nation, baby. I like that. Uh, I'll be 30 pretty soon. Uh, I'm fucking single. And like when you're, <laughs> when you're 30 and single, it's like everybody, you just, you fucked up. You know what I mean? You just hang around. He knows he's young. You just hang around like other people that are fucked up. And then they're like, why didn't you go to law school? And you're like, well, I fucking thought I was going to be famous. <laughs> and then, <laughs> And then you got to deal with, like, you got to deal with, like, fucking telling a woman, you're like, yeah, I was, like, a narcissist up until I was, like, 28. And then she's like, well, dude, how did you fucking get out of being a narcissist? And you're like, dude, I just had, like, fucking three 22-year-olds break up with me in the span of, like, six months. And this is probably, uh, dude, the problem is, is, like, you fucking, dude, it's, you just fucking, life just stops working how you want it to. You know what I mean? Somebody was saying, they were saying about getting sober to fucking to fuck chicks earlier. It's Dude, getting drunk is way better than fucking chicks, man. The best way to fuck chicks, dude, is to get drunk and to do steroids, you know? Or get on like a, like a, like a liquor and sauerkraut diet and maybe take like fish oils or something so you can stay thin. But honestly, that's, that's the fucking best way to do it. And then, you know, after a certain age, you just fucking hire prostitutes. That's the smartest... They're talking about, I talk with Tim. Tim's, um, Tim's, Tim's like a person in my life. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, like you want somebody to be your friend, but then it's like they fucking like so they pull up porn in public and you're like, you're like, I just can't. I, I just wish you were like more mature, you know? It's like, <laughs> I need, <laughs> it's like, I, I am 30 and single. I just can't be hanging out with guys that pull up porn in public. You know, it, it's nothing really. Like it's, I know it's funny to be like, hey, dude, did you see this is fucking interracial bestiality, man? Do you think this is funny? And it's like, sure. Like, yeah, it is funny, but <laughs> it's like, it just scares the hoes. That's it. It's a real simple equation, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, What's uh? I mean, honestly, you got the outfit, dude. <laughs> you rock that outfit. You will get. You should be hanging around Bushwick. You should just go to Maria Hernandez and just walk up to every white girl that has like, just every white girl that's overweight, and then just walk up to them and just be like, "Hey, do you like culture?" And and they'll, <laughs> they'll, <laughs> they'll be dumb enough for like two months. And you got a chance in that two months to fuck them, you know? I'm not going to say you're going to have sex every time, but that's, life is just cold calling, man. You just got to, you know, keep, you get back up, dude. It's like fucking Rocky one through four. <laughs> like, <laughs> he doesn't really win anything until, I guess Rocky three, he wins at the end, but like most of Rocky is just him getting fucked up, you know? I guess that'll be it for me, man. Well, I guess, what, are they going to make fun of me now? <laughs> the chat's on fire. You really yo, brought everyone together. Yo, bro. <laughs> they, 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 they literally said Miguel's set was bad, but yours is way more pedophilia. -like. We, I can't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> you look like Mike Judge with AIDS. <laughs> Uh, they said Bill Slurry. Freddie Mercury poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, said, they said DoorDash. Oh my God! They said, 
And one just said, you're a fucking faggot. <laughs> <laughs> they said he escaped a gay prison. He has the energy of an abused dog. <laughs> <laughs> they said E.T. molested El- Elliot. Like, oh my God. Uh, Herman Payne said, it looks like you call soccer football. <laughs> they said he has the energy of an abused dog. <laughs> <laughs> Benny the Jet said, hey, you should wrap that jacket around your hairline. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I think someone said you're excited that the public pool's open again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pike said, "Gotta be some kind of pansexual or some bullshit." This nigga said he's the cheapest whore on, on Fire Island. <laughs> uh, Camo Ange asked if you're a bike courier. Oh, and Kenny hates Jello said that you look like you escaped gay prison. Yeah. They say he has a maxi pad hairline. That's that? insane. <laughs> he offers all his all, all of the, his boys rides on that mustache. That's <laughs> bad. I it, I read it. How yeah, it but the other one's good. Right. Someone was like, did he think this was AA meeting? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Cam Lynch said you still show up at Boy Scout meetings after they canceled the Boy Scouts. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Guys, John Quest, thanks so much, dude. Woo! <laughs> Be kind, rewind said the only guy who didn't have fun staying at the YMCA. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this is weird. It's just it's a small room and everyone's got a little tension, but it's like it's fine. Mm-hmm. It's like yeah. Yeah, it's the bombing Nobody circle. Does that Everyone's low key. All right, I guess uh, yo, you guys oh, stoked. Does, who wants to go up next? Hey man, yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, is this thing on? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yo, how many people are on Twitch right now? I just want to like. 56, damn, I haven't performed, I've done comedy for like six years, this is the most people I've ever performed in front of, it's crazy. Um, okay, cool, yeah, I'll start with, uh, my name is Asif, it's spelled A-S-I-F, like as if, and uh, that's because my parents are clueless about what to do with me when I was born, you know, I, uh, I'm Muslim, some people would describe me as devout, but I personally prefer the term extreme, <laughs> and uh, my biggest fear is bombing on Twitch, and right now I feel like that might be your biggest fear too. Right guys, right? Okay, yeah, cool. Uh, uh, hey, you guys were you guys were on the internet. I work in technology too. You know, I used to I work on the internet. I used to work in social media, and I hated it actually. I hated working in social media because I didn't get this croissant hat from there. I got it from a different job. But I uh, one thing I learned, one valuable lesson I learned working in social media was like you gotta eat the vegetables to represent the organs in your body to make them stronger. Right? I saw a meme on Instagram one time. And so it's like, you got to eat grapes for your lungs, tomatoes for your heart, mushrooms for your ears, you know? So I've been eating a ton of eggplant recently. <laughs> and uh, I got to say, it's been going pretty well, you know? Probably much better in the chat. I'm, I'm sure it's going much better in the chat. Hey, um, <coughs> okay, let's see. Well, there's a dog in the room. He said, make the dog laugh. So let's see how this works. Hey, uh, I recently found out why some white women won't kiss me on the mouth, you know? So uh, it's because I'm not a dog. There we go. Okay. And then um, I studied magazine journalism in college, and that's why I moved to New York. And so my goal was to uh, create a fashion magazine for dogs, and I wanted to call it Doggy Style, obviously, you know. I, uh, I'm single, and I know that there's a girl out there for me. I just haven't met her yet. You can't come in yet. I got to finish this punchline. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> bring him in. Bring him in. Uh, oh, look at that. Hi. Yo, come here. Come on in. Yeah, we got to get, I got a feature, a special feature. What's up? Yeah. Are you coming We're on Twitch right now.
Can you please stop? Wait, you guys don't want to stay for the show? We we can have a really big mattress for you, love. We were actually. I'll help you with the mattress. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, <laughs> Boo them. Boo them. Too soon. We're not in the Twitter group chat. These are my actual neighbors. I mean, I can, I can finish this. I've never seen and a I'll help Tell you never been to a, you guys a have bar been at like five in the morning, like literally looking for the the easy ones. Those are the easy one types, and they just they just whiff whatever because they were standing here saying all oh, your bullshit, and it was like that's not gonna turn me away. All from right, dick. we have to come back and smell his fingers. It's the Crazy. chat says so. Right. How you dress like this and all on top of white bitch? Was, well, she was so she, she was word. with it. That's the one I wanted. Yeah. She but was. Yeah, but I he said, didn't know how to talk to her. He didn't know how to talk to her. I should have. Would have pulled them bitches. It's one of those days where you're like, I should have showered, you know? You never know what life's going to happen, you know? Stop making this about you. Sorry. It's so funny, dude. Uh, all right. <laughs> 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 awesome. Great job. All right. Yeah, Give it up for Austin. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. He was for the, yes. You're, you're allowed to leave if you need to. <laughs> That, that's, that, please, for, please, you have to clip that. Mark. For those coming in who don't know, uh, this guy in the orange, he's, he, did comedy. he did comedy, and it was yeah. so bad that white women came in and, and, ruined and asked to like, borrow like a, a broom. Block party. <laughs> yeah, crazy. and then they tried to steal us for their party. labor. Yeah, cock block party, yeah, yeah. One, one nigga said, as if we care. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as if we care was the best. He cooked your shit. Yeah, <laughs> he cooked your shit. <laughs> Go ahead, Chris, what you got? I don't know. Is it even about you anymore? I really want to fuck know. these ladies. Yeah, I, don't know. I feel like I should go help. You can hear you can hear everything through this door. I wish you guys would stop. Can we go back to what we were doing before? It's hard to concentrate with pussies around me. <laughs> and you know what's crazy is that they really are. Like we could like thirty percent of us in this room could totally do it if we tried. <laughs> we could. We could. Hold up. Hold up. We could. I'm confident in myself. Hating? Why are you hating? Why are you hating? Why am I hating? You're dressed like you should be in their room right now. <laughs> You're African with white bitches. That's yes. what you got. I don't sit for white bitches. You can't sit. You got up out the Mike? chair. You see Mike? You got up out the chair. You see Mike? They're not even going to give him a hug. First of all, <laughs> first of all <laughs> can you hit the... First of all, he's white. That's not snapping. And Miles just pulled up too? Oh, hell no. If Miles just pulled up too? Oh, boy. Someone wrote, that chick's the CIA the way she prevented a terrorist yeah. bombing. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Miguel's going back to only white autistics after this. <laughs> <laughs> one, one, one nigga said, you know we can see you, right? 
<laughs> what they can't see is how uh, pissed Miguel's girlfriend looks right yeah. now. She's so disappointed <laughs> She's like, oh, in everything going on. Oh, so this is what be going on when I'm not around. So All disappointed right. in him. She crazy. And his friend group. One nigga said, just be kind. <laughs> Miles talking to the bitches already. <laughs> yeah, Miles is like, <laughs> he's talking to the bitches already. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, sorry. Wow. Miles, you just missed it, bro. You just missed two white bitches over here. I know. <laughs> he blew it. He blew it, too. <laughs> he blew it, too. <laughs> he called you a Power Ranger. <laughs> well, yeah, Ma- yeah, that is a great. If Miles was here, he would have been had them two. Dr- <laughs> you, trying, you, tr- you trying to come up? They was all right. No, I think someone needs to steer the ship out of the fucking All right, let's steer it back. Who wants to go up? Let's bring it back to comedy. Who wants to do it? Jose. Let's do it. Let's go. Jose. Give it up for Jose Bedoy, everybody. <laughs> Yo. Miguel. This guy's out of his body. I've just been looking at him. He's just like, my whole career is imploding in front of my very eyes. That was crazy. They did come in and ask for free labor, which is weird. What year is it? What year is it? Hell yeah. I'm glad I'm glad Tim didn't go. You gotta stand up for yourself. You gotta Yeah, he did. Yo! Chill. 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 I'm about to talk. I'm about to talk. We got we got Jackson. Jackson over here. You always pretend to be Mexican or just all the time walking around with the fucking line cook shirt on and shit. He stole my job. Took my job. Yeah. I've been working out. I've been working out trying to lose weight. I might look like I have a belly. Actually, it's microplastics. I'll just, I'm not fat. I'm just polluted. Polluted like the ocean. I don't even come anymore. No, I just extrude filament. That's what's been going on. I'll be having sex. I'm like, oh, I'm about to make you a novelty miniature sculpture. Wh- what? Oh, I'm 3D printing. I 3D printed. What are they saying? They're saying, yo, he's not messy, he's a drunk idiot. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's, uh, I heard that my whole life. I'm not even drunk. Past that, past that. Native gay American. That's cool. That's cool. All right. Well, let's wait then until I finish, I guess. Uh, are y'all ready for World War Three? Yeah. I'm ho- hopefully it wastes like three more years and then I'll be 35. I don't have to go. I don't trust. I don't trust Gen Z. Fucking Gen Z over here be like, oh, we have to go. We have to go rush the front line. They they be like, oh, can I take my iPad? <laughs> <laughs> no, I get. I get. Uh, I've been. I've been on Twitter and the thing about modern warfare is they got kill cams now. That shit's crazy. It's fucked up. You'll be chilling in a foxhole. All of a sudden, you get a a grenade dropped on you. And then they put that shit on Twitter. You gets reposted. With my luck, I'll be I'll be I'll be in the in the hole with with my boys. You know, having to give instructions like, "Yo, let's we we gotta go." But I'm stressed out. I get stressed out. I get horny. You feel me, Nick? I seen you. I seen your dick. I know. Hey, yo. <laughs> we did it. We did a naked show together. I, see, I seen his dick. He gets. He gets stressed. When he gets stressed out, he gets horny. I know that for a fact. I'm not gonna tell the story. I'll be. I'll be in the foxhole, and then people are like, "Jose, what do we do?" And I'm like, "I don't know. I'm fucking stressing out. Pull down your pants." Yeah. It's called hypersexuality. I have it. <laughs> and then I can't help myself. I'll be sucking dicks and taking taking fucking shit on my ass. Just trying to cope. Trying to cope on the battlefield. And then I get a grenade dropped on me. And they put that shit on X videos. No. Por qué? <laughs> All right, that's it. Yeah. Let's fucking, let's go. Jose, you, Jose, your Spanish, they're going to cook your shit. Yeah, way to bring the room back. That was yeah, great. Yeah, uh, yeah. Be Kind Solid. Rewind said Danny Gayho. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Somebody said Jose Jalapeno. Someone said your name's Walks to Wawa. <laughs> 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 
Someone called you a gay hardy boy. Ted Tremblay called you Mitch Head Scalp. Okay. Someone said the Indian in the closet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to uh, Doe D2. Shout out to you, Doug. <clears throat> uh, Pike called you a gay laborer. Uh-huh. Someone said micro fag sticks. <laughs> <laughs> what else we got? Yeah, I see, I see the wolf. Uh, Ange said uh, your chair sucks pee pee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> LA shootout have an ass. <laughs> uh, it's, it's out. Do you have a lighter? Oh, of course you do. Thank you. Richard Quieres. Wow. <laughs> All right, yo, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Wait, last one. They wrote Jen Indian. Oh, fuck. All right, Drew, do you want to go? I need to pee, so why don't we switch out? Guys, Drew's going to come. There's a couple beers up here, so... All right, who Help wants yourself to Drew's. those guys? Give it up for Drew. Yeah. What? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out when I get there. I'm not there yet. I'll figure it out when I get there. What's going on, guys? Door court. Uh, what is it? 22. That's pretty tight. That's 22. We've done 22 of these. That's nuts. Don't know how it's lasted that long, but it's nuts. Uh, I, I like watching videos of fat guys dying on the internet. You guys, you guys like watching fat guys dying? Probably, you know, probably not you. Oh yeah, all right, Mike's back. How'd it go? All right, yeah. All right. Made it, made it back just in time. Um, I, I like, I like watching. Dude, you did you snap that chair? Yeah. All right, you're the you're the next fat guy that we should watch die. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Everyone, shut up! Everyone, shut up! Calm in the court. Calm in the court. We need we need to we need to get back to. All right, we need to do a show, guys. All right, it's fucking nuts. You guys are being crazy. All right, I like I like watching fat guys die on the internet. You guys watch videos of fat guys dying. I, I watched a video of a fat guy dying the other day. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see the video of the fat guy dying and got hit by the truck? You guys didn't watch the video of the fat guy getting hit by the truck? It was fucking nuts, dude. It was wild. It started off with this fat guy who's like in the road. There's a guy trying to steal his truck. The guy look the the fat guy looks like Richard Jewell. You know, he's in a Richard Jewell situation. The guy's trying to, like, steal a vehicle, and he's like, I'm going to be the one who intervenes. He pulls out a pistol. He pulls out a pistol, and he shoots at the guy who's trying to rob his truck five times. Five times. He missed all five times. Missed all five shots, which I don't know. I, I attribute that to his fatness. I think that him missing five shots at point-blank range has something to do with being fat. Yeah, I... I I don't know, maybe it's like the extra weight, you know, pulls on the trigger a little bit, you know, throws his aim off or something like that. I figure that him missing the shots has to do with him being fat. The guy gets in his truck. The guy reverses. The fat guy just kind of like obesely and like, you know, lazily like calls it off. He's like, all right, guys, he's out of here. He's out of here. He walks into the middle of the road. The guy who's reversing in his truck decides to accelerate forward and he launches this fat guy like 10 feet into the air. Did you see that? Nobody else saw this except me. Nobody else saw this fat guy die except me. Brother, fat guys are dying on the internet every fucking day. If you, if you, if you, just, if you just pay attention, you're watching fat guys die left and fucking right. <laughs> In very hilarious situations like this one. So the truck hits him. He's spinning. He's doing like a cartwheel throughout the air. And I don't know if you've ever seen, like, an anime guy get punched and then they just kind of, like, cartwheel into the sky and disappear. It was like that, except this guy broke his neck and died. This fat guy died by getting hit by a truck. You know, I I don't know. It, it, It used to be a time where, like, if you wanted to watch fat guys die, you had to go to, like, the, the deepest, darkest parts of the Internet. You know what I mean? There are very specialized, like, web pages where you could watch fat guys die. 
It's not that way anymore, but it's, it's not it's not that way anymore. I, I wake up, I wake up in like the comfort in my bed. I go on Twitter, I'm scrolling through my timeline, dude. There's fat guys dying all the fucking time. You just gotta be typed into the algorithm, dude. My Instagram feed, my discover on Instagram, nothing but fat guys dying. I've I've fucking I've honed that shit down just to to people dying mainly fat guys. It's pretty fucking tight. Um, all right, that's the fat guys dying on the internet joke that I wrote today. Um, all right, all right, yeah, yeah. All right, now, well, not in my own home, you know. What I mean, be be be, cool, be cordial if we, you know. Uh, did you guys hear about Flocko Dow? You guys know about Flock of the Owl? You, got, you know about Flock of the Owl? So Flock of the Owl was this owl that escaped, like, the, I don't know, the Bronx, the Bronx Zoo or something like that. He escaped the Bronx Zoo, and the city just decided to let him live. He, he was, like, residing in Central Park. They were just like, let's let him live. He's catching rats and shit. Motherfucker died not too long ago, maybe, like, a month ago. He flew into a window. He flew into a window. The New York Post uh, released an article after he died. The article headline was, Flacco, at the time of his death, had pigeon herpes and four types of poison in his bloodstream. <laughs> and put my, put my man on blast, you know what I mean? It's fucking, that's nuts. Talking about Flacco having fucking pigeon herpes and four types of poison in his system and shit, dude. That's crazy. You're supposed to let heroes die with dignity. You know what I mean? All right, all right, all right. Flacco jokes, whatever. Um, let's see, what else do I have in my uh, uh, open mic notes? I have um, Forrest Trump. I don't have any, you know, there's no material that comes after that. I just wrote that down in my my notes. Forrest Trump. Um, all right, all right, that's it for me. I, I, all right, what, what did they say? Did they call me gay? Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're gonna go All right, there yep. we go. There I'm, we go. I'm not going to lie. Majority of them are just telling you how to make you They said better. you're the Mexican crier for 4chan. Yes. Yeah, One dude says, this is my favorite pedophile. Yes. Yeah, um, All right. What else Yell's girlfriend's back from apologizing for us. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Nah, she went and fought we them bitches. She went and fought them bitches. Well, what what else they say? They just say, did they have they, some? One, they were just giving me advice about your jokes. He was like, please trend the fat on that joke. Yeah, that's all they were saying. <laughs> yeah, it was a fat joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> one, one dude said, fat guy dying is my 9-11. Yeah, well. <laughs> that was, that's wild. That's a lot of the audience. That's a lot of dying. Do watch. Someone say cosplay homeless guy. Jew, right. you, the audience loves you too much to this really. Is show too. Yeah, they they, they yeah, see well. you too much to to. His voice is no, really muffled. No, no, it's me. it's really. I've done this twenty two episodes, so uh -huh. they ran out of reason, uh, ways to call me gay. What else could they say? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There's always a way. There's always a new way, guys. Don't <laughs> give up. Uh, All right. One, I think. Oh, somebody said, "Holy black fat Batman." What? Fat. <laughs> They're probably, t pot, t probably uh, talking about Tim. No, they're not talking probably about talking about Tim. I will say a lot of them did peep when the, when he came back in with the girls, and it was like already. Yeah, well, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it was like already. It was like they was. It was like he must have nutted fast. <laughs> Drew, the audience loves you too much. They're, they they're actually right. fans of you. Right, One of them right. said, "Be nice to Drew." Who's gonna Foster come up the next? Drew jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. who's up? Let's Look at that walking tape of stream, my God. That people dying is pretty fucking funny. I just wanted to say, you look like you used to kill cats. You're like one bad date away from killing hookers. Nah, the chef here. Uh, I just, I'm getting... I know, right? A lot of you look like you've killed a hooker or two. Oh, Duduan killed three before he came over to this country. <laughs> I, uh, I'm a big dog lover. We got some dog lovers in the house. So we can all admit we can stop French kissing our pit bulls. It's getting weird. I probably won't stop, though. <laughs> well, they're going to really love this next one. You guys remember the scene in The Shining when all the blood comes running out of the elevator? Yeah, well, it, was, well, it looks like when I wipe my ass. The hemorrhoids are terrible. 
Sucks being 30, man. Yeah, you look back at the toilet paper, you see blood on it now, man. It's wild. Getting old sucks. What's the saying? Ah, no, here, yeah, what's the saying? Black don't crack, but white age is like dog shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, my grandma used to say it all the time. She looks like one of those bulldogs. Ah, but I, uh, you remember those old gym socks? Anybody hit the gym? You know, the one falls around the ankle. It's like a bad circumcision. Crusty in the heel, smells at the toe. So now that you know what my dick looks like, you could probably get a better idea of my sex life. It's crazy. I was dubbed the straightest guy in the room, and then you walked in. I feel like we gotta duke it out. Fuck the fat jokes. Yeah, I was in, uh, no. Grimace walked in when he, uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I, like, I know what cultural appropriation is, but I would rock a dashiki in a fucking heartbeat. Without a doubt, if I could, I would just sport a colorful dashiki every day. It, it, like, it, when you think about it, every culture has that, like, I'm not trying to get dressed to dress, you know? And for us, it's kilts, and that's not cool, so. I, uh, I have a bunch of jokes when I come up here, and then the lights hit me like a DWI, and I forget what I'm gonna say, you know? I practice what I'm gonna tell the cop. I'm like, that's confidence, not tequila. You know, I, <laughs> I had a few other jokes, so I, uh, I was driving home the other night. I had a few beers, and I stopped. I said, I figured I'd let Jesus take the wheel. I look at him, I was like, man, I know you could walk on water. You sure you could drive on this much beer, though? <laughs> he assured me he could. Long story short, I hit the bumper going 80 on the highway. <laughs> Don't let him drive. <laughs> man, there's so much great content in this room. Is that Infinite Jest book yours? <laughs> or do you just use that to get pussy? I'm curious. Miguel walked away, but if you actually read that, gay. <laughs> I, uh, I'm on a New York City diet, diet Pepsi, menthol cigarettes, free cocaine. <laughs> Anyone got any? <laughs> and all timers would fucking suck. Imagine waking up naked in your neighbor's house cooking Thanksgiving dinner in the fucking microwave. It's June. That would suck, man. Leave me at the bus stop, pack of smokes in my titty with a 20 behind it or something, I'm fucking okay. Don't let me burden anybody. I don't even think this is a joke, this is just a statement, but I took four x lax yesterday and I still haven't shit. I wasn't even constipated. I wasn't. Uh, I heard it'll help pass a hemorrhoid, so I gave it a shot. My girlfriend told me I had to sleep on the couch. She thought I was a ticking time bomb. I'm still afraid to fart. It's been all day. I'm nervous. I got the ultimate fuckboy car. It's uh, everything in it's a piece of shit except the speakers. Make a girl get off on the passenger side. The bass is wicked. You ever want to punch a kid? <laughs> yeah, I don't even have any, but there's definitely a few 10-year-olds I don't right upside the head. Yeah, man, I'm still happy I'm the straightest guy in the room. That was an honor, because I've done some gay shit. I worked in a strip club for seven years, man. It's crazy. I once had to play anal ring toss on the clock. It was weird. Oh, again, no joke there, just good times. <laughs> Vegan ice cream for when your uh, dessert tastes worse than your life decisions. Am I right? I think I got the light. Did I get the light there? Hey. Anyway, thank you for having me, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> stick around. I'm not, I'm not yeah, gonna lie. Stick I'm around not. for a little bit. Stick yeah, around for right. a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. They're cooking your fat ass. Wow, well, yeah. yeah they, one, they, one, one thing you said, you're dirty. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they, they had some good ones. Yeah. Dun Dunbar said, did this guy cause the, tu the tsunami on his shirt? Uh, once the, once the, one thing you said, you're Larry the, Larry the Gable guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Booze Hound said, oh shit, an actual pedophile. Yeah, that's so good. <laughs> that was crazy. That was great. Brett Bert Kreischer, after being found in a hotel room after a week looking ass. <laughs> <laughs> one, said, one nigga said he put the gay in John Wayne Gacy. Yeah, yeah. Ben, <laughs> shout ben, out to that guy. Ben, ben, oh, <laughs> Zach ate Cody. Yeah, yeah, Benny the Jet said the waves on that shirt actually changed the lunar cycle. So, uh, so, someone said you, you, your favorite drink of choice is gravy. That's yeah. funny. Uh, Pike Von Doom said, I thought John Wayne Gacy was executed. <laughs> Someone said, goodbye, Earl. <laughs> <laughs> Someone wrote that you could rock you the guy into the shiki. Someone said I could pull off the dashiki. No, someone said you could rock the guy into the shiki, and now I want to see you fight. Yeah, yeah it, and when, winner wears the dashiki. Uh -huh. Yeah. That'd be great. Walk out with Someone said, Chris Penn and Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get on for a baby. Yeah. Get on for a baby.
Someone right. did say Stay Puff Daddy, and Who's I was like, next, oh. next, next, next. You're coming next. up next. Everybody give it up Get for Tim Ammo. They're going to cook so bad. My name is Tolu Odurua. Jackson, what did you do this weekend? I don't care. No one gives a fuck. Do you think... You are better than the ones here to hear about your weekend. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you are wrong. That's why I am here to teach you the word. <laughs> Everyone here, open your book to 1 Corinthians Chapter 5, verse 6. He says, Behold! For this is the devil. The white woman is the devil. The white woman will come into your room and ask us to move. They will ask us to do labor. <laughs> Yo, I'm breaking character. This is why niggas will never advance, bro. <laughs> ever, ever, ever. The white bitches came in here and was like, so does anyone do work that you would usually have to be paid for? And I was like, no. And the niggas were like, what the fuck, bro? You don't want pussy? You don't want pussy? That, nigga, that's what sharecroppers said. <laughs> that ass, bro. <laughs> yeah, sharecropping, nigga. Think carrying a bed up some stairs gonna get you some pussy? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no, bro. There's no way. There's no way. Did I do what? Hell no. Oh, they look good. I'm not going to lie. That's the thing. Like, I didn't carry the bed, but I did want to, bro. <laughs> bro. The, the chub, the, not, nah, nigga, the, the, the dilemma, the paradox. The chubby one? Oh, with the little bandana? If you can hear me, I love you. All right? I take it back. I take it, I'll change my ways for you. <laughs> nah, bro. And see, that's a that's a that's a good white woman, you know. That no, nah. <laughs> no, 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 bro. That's a that's a white woman. Yeah, say amen, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, nah, nah. The blonde one, the blonde one. That's a white woman that will make you sandwiches and shit. <laughs> that's a, that's a white woman. That like will let you get a slap in and not tell her whole family. That's a good Irish woman. You said what? <laughs> Wakanda. Nigga, fuck Wakanda. Fuck Wakanda's for all you. Not you, because you're Nigerian. It's for niggas like you. Yeah, exactly. It's regular black. It's regular black. Like Africa has existed. Since the beginning of fucking time, there's tons of history. No, no, no. There's tons of history about it. There's movies about it. <laughs> no, no. They release. Shut up, nigga. Shut up. Shut up. See, this is why Africans are racist, bro. Lawrence, how, Lawrence, how many Africans in middle school did you call an African booty scratcher? Exactly. Exactly. And that's why we're not hiring you. We're not hiring you. <laughs> it's not enough. Wait, 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 wait. Before I, before I, before I end, uh, Miguel's girlfriend, Candice, yo, you said they were mad cool. Like, how cool? Wait, wait, wait. You, you, do you think, do you think they're into niggas? 
I'll convert them. I'm fucking done. All right. Give it up Damn for Chubi yeah. Abutu Fuku. He was funny as shit, though. Yeah, yeah. One thing is, one thing is, I want to die shiki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Someone wrote. I told you niggas want to die shiki. This shit fly as fuck. No, but he made like die. White people call it a tunic, <laughs> all right? Someone wrote that the hack mosquito swarm your village. Yeah. Nah, no, no, here's yeah. a good one. One nigga said he giggles like a white woman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Cause I'm not gonna lie. When, I'm sorry. When I was sitting here, that was the wildest cold switch I have ever yeah. seen. Yeah. He went from full Michael Blackson to I full. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't believe you. You. You were so on board. Yeah. But you, you wanted to sweat for mid white bitches, bro. Yeah, like your, your voice don't <laughs> match your fit. Yeah. Ah. His voice is not matching your fit. Uh, all the all the one all the ones I have down are are very <laughs> uh, very <laughs> racist. Hold on, hold on. One nigga said, "When do blacks give jobs? <laughs> they always have one." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, fuck it. The, the whole chat's full of poor Irish white niggas. All these dads are alcoholics. Cook them niggas. The other half got molested. Yeah, but both bitch ass niggas. Yeah. You can't talk to them. <laughs> talk to them. Whatever you get out. He talk. Whatever you get out. Talk. Nah, 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 he talk. Yeah, all mine are all mine are racist. Someone wrote how many people live in his head. (laughs) Yeah. uh, Be be kind rewind said Leo helping him find his son in Blood Diamond. (laughs) One nigga said Toby you you gay. (laughs) Nigga, I said I sold my son for Blood Diamond. Whack Condor. Whack Condor. Whack Condor. Cap Condor. Tell me why. One more, one more, one more. All right, well, somebody, said, somebody said he got lost on the way to gospel rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> Get up with Tim. Get up with Tim. Hell yeah, nigga. Mike, you coming up? All right, Who's Mike that? Patrol, everybody. That's give it up for Mike. 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 He gonna be a monster. They got ya. Yeah, no, just wait. You're gonna you're gonna love it, Lawrence. You're gonna love it, dude. Yo, but for real though, uh the fucking the sun is shining, birds are chirping, sun's setting after seven PM. That's right, folks. It's jerking off with the windows open season once again. Am I right? Am I right? Fellas? Yeah. Yeah, I, every apartment I've ever lived in, uh, my windows always looked directly out into the street. And nothing makes you feel like more of a pervert than having to close your blinds when you want to go jack off. It's like, damn, it's Tuesday, 4 p.m. There's going to be kids walking home from school. I better close the fucking window so they don't see me beating my meat in there. <laughs> Disgusting. I should be shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Lawrence is like, yeah, it's going to be easy. I was uh I was sitting at a bar and I almost got in a fight with a guy and got I got kicked out. And like that's fine. That's like that that's a thing that happens at bars, but what's not fine was that it was inside of a Whole Foods. What are we, what are we doing that we have bars at grocery stores now? What's going on with that? Like we need to dial it back, huh? Dial it back a little bit. There needs to be rules in society. Nobody should be leaving the supermarket being asked, like, hey, buddy, are you okay to drive? It's probably pretty nice, though, like all the fucking wino moms that come in there, you know what I mean? Like, imagine being the bartender at the Whole Foods bar (laughs) at, like, 3 p.m. on a Wednesday. All the wino moms in there coming up, flirting with you, asking to suck your dick. Like, that's pretty nice, right? Yeah. I want to know what they're saying more than I care about my set now. No, I do. Yeah.
Someone said you should be shot for this set. <laughs> and um, someone said, someone yeah, I got yeah, two dude. jokes in. What the fuck? Nah, someone, yeah, but they were pumping them. They were pumping yeah, was, up yeah, the chair. Someone literally said, you had no pussy getting fag. Yeah, 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 I was yeah, the one that yeah. carried the mattress yeah. up, fucking basement dweller. Yeah. Someone wrote that you get, put the mattress up, helped them with the mattress up, and then gave them money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to that guy. <laughs> Somebody, somebody called you TJ Filler. <laughs> <laughs> da- Daniel Poon called you Nickel Fat. Um, what? Uh, yeah, he's also the guy who called you TJ Filler. Uh, Pike said Steve the Pirate from Dodgeball, but 300% gayer. <laughs> someone said if he was a cartoon character, he'd be a lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, John B- John Butera said this dude cries while masturbating. Oh, too, yeah. uh, Chad said black people think we smell like wet dogs because of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that, Chad? Chad, Shout yeah, Chad, Chad, dog. Chad, Matt, That's know, a good Chad, one. Chad, Chad said you Chad. run an unsuccessful cult. <laughs> 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 Who else we got? Oh, somebody said you got fired from a prep commercial. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. A unsuffa- unsuccessful faggot. That's crazy. Yeah, they called you uh, pig pen from Charlie Brown all grown up. Uh, I, I know he wants to say the N-word so bad. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Uh, came to NYC to do comedy, but all he got was fleas. <laughs> <laughs> he's he spent more time moving furniture than telling he jokes. Fleas on him. Someone said he wins goldfish at carnivals and then has a Slurpee. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> da- da- Daniel Daniel Poon said I'm so uh, high for this right now. Daniel Poon said dude has an STD and his discharge smells like patchouli. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so high right now, dog. Yeah, I mean, I mean, oh. yeah. They got me. Nice. Mike. Love you, brother. Love you. I love all of you. I love all of your basement dwelling fucking fans that tune in on Twitch. All of their hard drives should be all of their hard drives should be seized. Seventy percent of that chat is going to be in jail for raping children within five years. He ain't wrong. One dude said he's a cuck and he loves it. Love you, brother. <laughs> Clyde, how we feeling, brother? Big Fort. You ready for Big it? Big Fort. Woo! Right, yeah, for Clyde Mack, everybody. Yeah. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Yo. I'm glad Lawrence can read. I didn't know. I didn't. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't think you, I didn't think Russ could read either. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> so I hate slave movies because because nothing ever gets better, you know. Like it's always bad. Like, you know, like maybe they maybe they eat like an apple pie or something. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, please. You gotta hear all the words. <laughs> Fuck, I really wanted to work on that joke and you guys distracted me. So you ever you ever be thinking in your head and and you accidentally say something out loud? Mm. <laughs> it happened to me. I was, I was like working. I was around a bunch of like you know white people and shit. And there was this girl, and I started thinking about you know like maybe I could get with her. Like you know maybe I could like fuck her or whatever. And I was thinking in my head, I was like, man, I need a girlfriend so I could like stop being, you know, so distracted all the time. And out loud, I was like, yeah, I hate being free in front of all the white people. True story. Um, girl, girls get mad at me because I can't dirty talk. <laughs> like, 
I ask him how. They're, like this girl told me, she's like, what you do is you tell me what you're doing, tell me what you're going to do, and then tell me what you did. I was like, what I'm doing is trying not to nut. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm about to do is nut. <laughs> what I just did was nutted. Yo, I, I never I never liked that joke until now. <laughs> that was funny. Uh I'd never fuck a bitch named Ingrid. <laughs> That's not really a joke. Are they saying I look like a substitute teacher? You gotta wait. <laughs> Okay, so I it's always funny to me when someone that I've known been gay comes out to me like it calls like yo Clyde I'll be honest with you I'm gay <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like you wore assless chaps the last three Halloweens I knew you was gay you know that's like me calling one of my friends and be like yo I'm black and then he but yo but I thought you was white I saw you reading the Harry Potter books and I was like but inside the Harry Potter books I was reading the OJ trials that's what. <laughs> I made that joke before OJ died, by the way. <laughs> um, so I used to want to be, my dream job was to be a private investigator to go in the whole house to find out if they're hoeing or not. You know, I feel like I'd be good at that job. You know, I walk in like, who in here fucking? They'd be like, we all fucking. And I'd be like, good. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I, I fucked the slave joke up. I think I think I might be done. No, no, no. I said I think. I said I think. I said I think. All right, yeah, one more. So I found out quick about New York. Like I was like when I moved here, how rude people are. Like I walked up to the deli, I saw all this stuff, and I was like, let me get a honey turkey, egg and cheese, lettuce, tomato, grilled onions with a boiled egg chopped on top. He looked at me and was like, nah. I give up a clock. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. You my man, but they is cooking. That was probably the funniest what stuff was right them? now. <laughs> I, no, I think they were scared to cook no, them, one bro. One nigga said 10 years of gay. That <laughs> 10 years ago well, is great. Well, yeah, yeah. Hilarious. Someone dude. wrote, LMFL, uh, a responsible black. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. One, nigga said, you, one nigga said, he said, shut the fuck up, please. Yeah. <laughs> Her, 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 Herman Payne did say this guy's from a white neighborhood. <laughs> One nigga said, "Whose uncle is this?" He said, "You church black, gay pride, Clyde." <laughs> <laughs> shout out to uh, whoever that said, "Gay pride, Clyde." Shout out to that. Yeah, I don't know. Trainer said uh, a black guy with Chinese eyes. Uh -huh. uh, Someone said he looks like he does first in horror movies. You uh, like white uh, women who wear bonnets? Give I'll give you this. Chad, Chad, Chad said Clyde sounds so intelligent that he's probably scared to be in that apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Calls you a pussy. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's not even a dish. But That's kind of tight. No, one nigga said he likes white bitches who wear bonnets. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Daniel Poon 79. Daniel Poon 79. <laughs> yeah, right. It's like the hood white bitches. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh shit. My God. Someone wrote you were great in Moonlight. Nah, one nigga, one nigga really from New York. He said this guy with the Baruch College is on the dean list. <laughs> That's a New York college right there. They they think you're the most intelligent guy in this room. Mm -hmm. I think that's kind of tight, actually. Right. I'm very shout out to Clyde. Shout out to Clyde. Uh, hell yeah, give him a Clyde, y'all. Give him up for Clyde. All right. Smoking this weed stick. We're we're at an intersection where I haven't been left a set list, and the three people who are left, I do not know their names. I'm Miles. Miles. Who's that kid? Jackson. Jack and Jill. Okay. Chris? All right, all right. All right. Everybody give it up for Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Keep going, keep going. What's good, guys? How are we? Thank you. Uh, I recently watched the Nickelodeon documentary. I don't know if you guys checked that out. Um, a lot of pedophiles at Nickelodeon. No, I'm not in it. Um, <laughs> But 
Um, the like pedophiles just kept popping out of the woodworks and Nickelodeon. There was like PAs and like acting coaches kept like coming out as pedophiles. I feel like everyone like watched this documentary and they said like, can you believe it? Like, can you believe how many pedophiles are at Nickelodeon? Isn't that crazy? Cause I'm just like, yeah, where else would they want to work? Like, of course they would want to work at the kids station. What would surprise me if they were like, can you believe how many pedophiles are showing up at 60 minutes? It's such a highbrow station for them. It's so it's so mature for their tastes. Uh, everyone keeps like talking about like they keep like, looking at old clips from Nickelodeon shows and they like see uh, like a bunch of like weird sexual innuendos in the TV shows and stuff like that. And like the guy who like runs Nickelodeon, I definitely think that guy's like a creep. But I don't know when people like point out stuff in the shows, it kind of seems like a takes one to know one situation. They're like, Can't, the way they hold that apple totally looks like a blowjob. I'm like, what kind of blowjobs are you getting? Do you like, like there's so much feet in iCarly. I'm like, dude, you were counting the whole time. Um, I uh, there's that. I mean, like, because, like, when, when Nickelodeon really fucked up is they, like, hired convicted pedophiles, and, like, obviously you can't do that. Like, obviously, like, that's not good. But a part of me feels like they just wanted people that are going to be excited to show up to work every day. <laughs> like, there were plenty of people dragging their feet into Nickelodeon. Like, let's get somebody that's going to have a little twinkle in his eye. Let's get someone that's going to be excited to be there. I used to go to this uh, Christian summer camp. Um, I know it looks like I still sell Bibles. Um, but I, uh, we had like a bunch of like Native American imagery and stuff at my Christian summer camp and they recently had to take it all away. And, like a lot of the people that I went to that camp with were like, can you believe these libs, dude? Like, can you believe them taking away all of our, our like Native American stuff at the camp? Cause like all the tribes there, all the cabins were named after like different tribes and stuff like that. But if anyone deserved to have it taken away, it was my summer camp. Like, we definitely took it, like, way too far. Like, we would wear, like, feather dresses and war paint. Like, we would sing Native American spirituals. We'd be around the campfire, like, Wakanda, Deju, Wapadima, Atone, Hey. Just a room full of white kids from Orlando sitting around singing that. Uh, we had this other thing in my camp. We used to tell this story called Jim Bellina. Um, it was basically this kid at camp named Jim who refused to take a shower because, like, no one wants to take a shower at camp because they're cold and you have to, like, get naked in front of other dudes and stuff like that. So they, like, tell us a story to encourage us to shower. And so basically the kid goes all of camp without showering and then his penis falls off. And then he has to change his name to Jim Bellina and go down to the girls' camp. And they had to, like, stop telling that story because, like, we can't tell stories about a boy becoming a girl. But they, like, I guess they just didn't want to, like, promote the trans agenda. But, like, uh, if I was trans, like, this story would not, like, change my mind. Like, if I wanted to be trans and then I was just like, oh, being trans is just, like, being, like, a dirty person that doesn't shower. Like, I definitely wouldn't want to be trans after that. Like, oh, dude, I'll just shower. Like, you don't need to tell me this, like this story, you know. All right, that's all I'm going to do, guys. Thank you. So Blake good. You, dog. Uh, yeah, I mean, man. Nah, man, man, man someone, wrote, off. someone wrote, this one is currently being molested. That's what I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah our, our, oh, our Jew said big Swifty energy. Uh, uh, I saw that. I saw that. Uh, someone said, "Did your dad pay for someone? Someone to for you? Fuck you!" <laughs> yeah. Wow, he fucked that one up. One dude said, "This dude bores women and then rapes them." Yeah, uh, <laughs> Man Manhan said uh, he really walked into his closet this evening and said, "What would Charlie Sheen wear?" <laughs> um, uh, one, one nigga said, "One day in Jesus camp." <laughs> yeah, uh, Moogie's. Uh, First time guy I've seen in a chat said, I'd molest the fuck out of this kid. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, that was me. <laughs> 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 uh, 
<laughs> One nigga said his favorite food is mayonnaise. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Get, getting wavy said this kid killed a family of four drunk driving. <laughs> <laughs> and getting wavy also said lesbians aren't funny. Yeah. Uh, uh, Herman her- said, ask him how you escaped Epstein Island. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, her- Herman also said uh, he fucked Charlie Sheen and all he got was that shirt and AIDS. Uh, uh, our Jew said uh, this guy's excited to be around black people for the first time. <laughs> uh, trainer said this guy didn't unlock any talents from being molested. Mm-hmm. Uh, if Greta Thunberg wished she was big. Yeah. <laughs> no, one nigga said, holy contrast, Batman. <laughs> yeah. Uh, John, John Butera said this dude bores women to sleep before he rapes them. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's uh, all I got. Everybody. You have it up for Jackson. Who's up next? 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 All right, next. Going up. All right what? Hell yeah. What's his name? Uh, Chris Mitchell, baby. Get off of Chris You're... Mitchell, baby. Woo! Chris Mitchell, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I'm actually uh, Jackson's stepdad. I just wanted to address the allegations. They can't be proven. Um, We don't know that he's currently being molested. Um, I'll start off, though. (laughs) Um, I just want to say, unlike uh, unlike Mr. Clyde, I'm not going to make an OJ joke. I think it's a little too soon. That's someone's father that just died. You know what I mean? I just think it's too soon. It's that someone is Khloe Kardashian, and I'm just smart enough to not mess with a Kardashian. Um... 34 and single. I think I got his beat. We had some uh, 30 and single, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll dumb it down here. Um, dating can be tough, but I'm always open to try something new. And did you know speed dating's coming back from the 80s, early 90s? I said, why not? I'll give it a shot. Not really too sure what all the hype is. Nobody wanted to do meth with me. <laughs> I'm at an age, though. Potential partner needs to have one of three things. If they have two, that's great. All three, I'll marry her tomorrow. They have to be uh, subjectively attractive, like to party a little bit, have no kids. And I realized who I've been looking for all along and would marry tomorrow, Casey Anthony. (laughs) Currently childless. I know I I give off like a... (laughs) Bad as shit. Still partying in Orlando. <laughs> I, I give off more Hitler youth vibe than I do Italian. I am part Italian, though. No, it's always bugged me with Italian-Americans, though. The hero worship of Christopher Columbus. It just never made sense to me. He goes to the wrong place, finds himself in the wrong place, decides he's white, and proceeds to rape a whole bunch of brown women. Then I thought about it. <laughs> Could that be more Italian American of him? <laughs> thinking Andrew Cuomo, and I'm thinking we end it there. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Yo, they don't like you at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. Yeah, yeah. But for, for, the, for the short time yeah. on stage, <laughs> they are yeah. yeah. popping them up, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Okay, Someone yeah. said you look like you protest oil. Yeah. <laughs> Now, one nigga said, you just look like a trans. <laughs> <laughs> so, he was like... Get, get Wavy said, I just know this guy has a Funko Pop collection. Um, one nigga said, Hilly would hate this queer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pike Von Doom said, he's one of the LGBT things, I, but I just can't tell which one. Uh, and said, I'm, I'm shocked all these dudes are single. Uh, 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 I wish Casey Anthony was his mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said, he said, he said uh, this guy's dream work is to work in the call center. <laughs> yeah, uh, trainer said uh, Guillermo del Bordo. Uh, uh, Mitch Hackberg is great. Uh, Chad asks, was your mom a big fan of Tom Arnold? No, shout out to this guy. He, this guy said uh, drag show dad. That's great. That's hilarious. Jack showed that. That's hilarious. That's pretty fucking funny. 
That's pretty fucking funny. One nigga said, I'm glad you made yourself laugh. <laughs> <laughs> da- Daniel Poon said, this guy stalks ball pits like Jaws. <laughs> no, Bash the- Daly said, uh, this guy subscribes to only hams. <laughs> That's hilarious. No, one nigga just said, I hate this guy so much, it's making me angry. <laughs> God damn, that shit's good. That shit's good. Oh, he said he's all our favorite grandma's comedian. (laughs) All right. That means I made it, though. No, you didn't. (laughs) I thought all fat people were funny before his set. I see your second chin through that beard. <laughs> I think they're just gonna come in real time. Stay there. Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're, yeah, yeah, they're they cooking this some, nigga. They're, they're churning right. them out. Give right. up, hell yeah, yeah, really. yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. All right, I think we have our. I think we have. Oh, are you guys? Do you guys want to go up? Do you guys want to go up and do some shit? I'm too fucking high. You're gonna go up? All right, all right. Hold on, hold on. No, no, Crespo's going to close us out. Crespo's going to close us out. What's it? Miles. 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 Miles, till the next. All right, Miles. Get it from Miles. Hey, what up, uh, guys on the internet? How are you guys? Do you guys doing good? All right. Uh, good to fucking hear. Um, can I say something about this place first before I start? I, you, I can't say your address, but there's a, you have an A before your number, right? And I realize what the A is. The A is the white version, because I went to the regular version, <laughs> and they were like, who you is? And I was like, oh, this does not seem like it's comedy. <laughs> no one. Yeah, I was like, this is a migrant shelter? What the fuck is happening on that side of the street? <laughs> it's a real big difference. And shout out to Mike for going back to kill those girls. That's <laughs> and that nigga really cock-blocked me, because I thought that was your apartment. So I walked in, and I was like, hey, it's all good. It's over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at him, look at him trying to get back in. Fucking lock him out. Stay out there, you creep. Hey, you're an asshole. Fuck you. <laughs> All right, I, just want, I want to do like three. <laughs> yeah, he was right there. I left him out there. What are you saying? You can't hear you, stupid. Okay. Yeah, yeah look at him bombing again. Okay. <laughs> this, this is crazy. A little white man stuck in a screen. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, fuck. Uh, I guess I should <laughs> Go let him in. <laughs> Look at you. You can't carry a mattress, but you open the door for him. <laughs> How you doing, sir? Fuck, okay, let me do it. Because your, your fans are all racist, right? All right, okay, cool. They're going to like my shit. Um, a lot of OJ slander. This is uh, not okay. Do you guys rest in peace, OJ? Uh, do you guys hear how OJ was killed? Did you guys hear this? So get this. Apparently, OJ was killed by Israel. Did you guys know that? <laughs> Apparently, Hamas was next to his house, and he died. I don't know. It's a problem. Yeah. Um, uh, Obama's gay, apparently. <laughs> Have you heard this conspiracy? I get all my right-wing conspiracy from the same spot, the barbershop, and they told me that Obama's gay, right? The theory is that Obama, while at Harvard University, met another black dude named Michael Michael transitioned to Michelle. They got married, became the first black family to run the United States. Get in here, Mike. We're talking about Obama, your favorite subject. <laughs> I read your Reddit post about it. You don't like him. <laughs> but about, right? She transitioned, and they believe this shit. I personally do not believe that conspiracy. I think that conspiracy is unhinged because there's no way they let two black men at Harvard at the same time. There's no way that happened. There's a one black maxim. I tried these. They were full. <laughs> Um, someone's talking about trans, the, that guy. <laughs> I think having a trans girlfriend is cool. I do. I think having a trans girlfriend is really cool, you bigot. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you're a bigot. You know why? Because you can have sex with her, and then after sex, she can teach you how to dunk, and that's pretty cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your girlfriend's fucking getting mad at you. I'm playing 2K in her shorts, so what's up? I'm a king right now, okay? All right, last joke. Do um, you guys remember George Floyd? Rest in peace, George Floyd. Uh, fuck, I forgot how the bit goes. Oh, do you guys know that every single year in Minneapolis, they have a George Floyd anniversary? Do you guys know this? So every single year, the cops go to his gravesite and make sure he stays dead. Every single year. 
They go, stay down. He stays down. It's crazy. He just listens, right? Because you know what's worse than a live George Floyd? A zombie George Floyd. Because then we all can't breathe. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Get up for miles, all right? What the internet's got to say. Oh, oh they, shit. They don't, dude, not like uh, Everyone doesn't like anybody. No, <laughs> no, they liked him. But they one, liked one thing him. said, too many blacks. <laughs> <laughs> Someone wrote trans comic. <laughs> the, the one thing, I literally, the only thing I got down was Pike Von Doom said a Dyke Lee joint. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> One thing it said, the blackest thing about him is his Yankee cap. <laughs> Someone wrote the... <laughs> Daniel Plume wrote the corny professor. Oh, shit. Someone said, get Urkel the fuck out of here. Pike, <laughs> Pike Von Doom called you Nephew Tom. Uh, <laughs> shout out to him. Shout out to him. Give it up for that. that you win. Oh, that was, that's, a, that's a deep cut. Everybody don't know Nephew Tom. <laughs> Oh what shit! I think we should call it a night, bro. Yeah. Hey, nephew Tom. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to him. Yeah, nephew Tom oh, is great. Shit. <laughs> All right, Crespo. All right. Closing us out. Everybody, give it up for Nick Crespo. Give it up for Crespo gang. Oh yeah. Whoa, guys, this has been a fun one, hasn't it? Not. This has been fun. We have a great dog. We now know who his neighbors are. It's always good to meet your neighbors. It's always good to be kind to your neighbors. That's fun. I kept that seat real warm for you, buddy. Real fucking warm. Uh, I was thinking this. Wouldn't it suck if you, like, went to heaven and you met your ex in heaven? Wouldn't that be terrible? Because, like, cause you're, like, imagine you're in heaven and you see your ex and she comes up to you, because they, of course they would, right? They're just like, like ugh, like the one it does. Like, uh, and they're like, wow, I didn't expect to see you here. Like, fucking me neither, bitch. And, and then you're like, well, this is my new boyfriend, Nostradamus. I'm like, well, fuck, that's, these are ju that's just what I think. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I've been drinking beer every day for eight months, but I'm gonna blame the antidepressants for my gain, my weight gain, and uh, I'm just gonna stay. I'm just gonna stop. I'm just gonna stop uh, doing pills. I'm just gonna keep being depressed. When I was skinny, it was when I was depressed, which is the best. I didn't mean for that to rhyme. I didn't wanna. You ever? You ever, the, the dude, I don't even care because I can't even, it's, I bet like the chat, they, they don't even like, they love me. I don't even, see, I know they're, they're going to love me. They, I'm a good, I'm a, I'm 27. Uh, I know, I look like I smuggled deli meat. I look like, um, yeah, I look like a Snapple truck driver. I wonder how many people in the country are like, yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> how many people on Twitch are like, yeah. God, I feel homeless every time I walk into a Target. It's just, I'm just always so desperate. I'm just like, hey, uh, I sound like Gavin. I'm like, hey, uh, you got a, I need, I need a, I need socks and a razor. And, uh, need some, some deodorant and, uh, yeah, candy. <laughs> you ever, uh, I, uh, well, <laughs> I'm not Muslim, all right? That's a hint for the Patreon. I'm not Muslim. But I, I, I will say I talked to a friend because it's Ramadan because I want to know random things. And they explained to me what Ramadan is. Ramadan is when you wake up and you don't eat and then you just don't eat all day. And you don't drink water and you just go, how can I be a better person? And you do that for a month. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I've been practicing Ramadan every day for six years just not drinking water and going, wow, God hates me and should try again. Yeah. Honestly, guys, I think, I think Miles is, I think Miles was the cap where there was too many black people in the room. I think we could handle, because Clyde, no. All right. Easy, fellas. If you keep talking over me, I won't play CeeLo with you guys. I won't do it. I won't do it. 
I like Mediterranean because that's just another word for we have fancy things here. You ever, uh, I wish, I would have helped those ladies with the mattress, but I didn't shower today. <laughs> and I wasn't like, I wasn't like ready for that, you know, for that interaction. And, and I didn't have the energy. They did. They, we, they connected it with my eyes. And, you know, I played it cool. I played it cool. You know, Timbu Buck 2 fuck fo it was, was sitting here. He was, he was the guy that was really being like, see, the audience doesn't know, but they felt it too. Because the white women came. And then Miguel, I'm just recapping the night for everybody at this point. And then, you know, Miguel's girlfriend went and talked to them. I think she set up a fucking foursome for him, <laughs> which is great. Clap it up. I love that little giggle she had, too. She loves it. All right. Uh, black people be like, hey, let me get the slavery for free. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm done. Let's do it. Give it up for Nick Crespo, everybody. They love you. Oh, they love you so much, yeah, though. Brother. Come Nasty said, I bet he was hotter before the pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, one nigga said Crespo, more like Crisco. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Dunbar said, more like Nick Crespair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they said pork body with a homeless head. Pork body. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> John B. Terror said, you know it smelled crazy in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, P Pike Von Doom said, it kind of looks like Hurley fusion danced with Saeed. It's a lost joke, everybody. I don't know. Well, yeah, one nigga said, screw it when he ate all the Krabby Patties. Nicholas, <laughs> 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 dude. Uh, Mike Trainer said, it's nice when they have a chick on dark court. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, one nigga said, you got better tickets than the neighbors. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so they did say. <laughs> one nigga said, you look like you're built of insulation foam. <laughs> <laughs> it's asbestos. <laughs> <laughs> Camo oh, and shit. said, I'm so confused by him. <laughs> oh, one thing is, if Funhouse Mirror have an ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, John Everyone looks at me and sees a different thing, but they all know it's weird. <laughs> John, John Butera said, not a Muslim, but does fuck goats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. These guys are good. What else you got? Oh, oh, you, oh, one nigga said you can make a tent with those jeans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, G. Presto said, yeah, we know you're not Muslim. Obviously, you eat pork. <laughs> <laughs> Saddam Hussein, if you had a gay son. <laughs> Saddam Hussein, if he had you a gay, gay son. And, and you gay and You get You gay... You gay. You gay. You gay. Who said? You guys know what I was doing. Guys, oh, I think we're good. Yeah. Guys, thanks so much. Woo! There's another door court. Love everybody. Next time, next time we'll have more white people. Yeah, 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 yeah. We kind of blew it with all the black guys we know. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next time we'll be white guys again. We'll go back to Long Island. Love you guys. Thank you for coming out. And shout out to all the niggas in the chat, dog. Yeah. Yeah. There's one black guy in the chat. Really? What's his name? DC? His name's Mark. Okay. And he may not be here. That's him, right? <laughs>